Okay, in this next part of the Revit 3ds Max uh, interior demo, I want to take you through a quick setup for materials and lighting. So my particular render engine that I want to use is going to be V-Ray. So I'm going to click on the teapot with the properties button there and flick to render, en render engine V-Ray. I have a not for resale license here from Chaos Group and uh, I'm just going to uh, leave that as, as is at the moment. Um, I also want to just go to the common tab and turn on the uh, V-Ray material editor, make sure that's turned on. At the moment that is actually uh, locked, so if it's not showing up, just turn on to the uh, particular render engine you want to work. And if you're doing active shade stuff, you can also choose, uh, in this instance, V-Ray real time. So you can choose whatever rendering engine you want. I'm just gonna make sure mine is, is V-Ray. And uh, first thing I wanna do is start working with uh, my materials. So I'm just gonna show you a couple quick uh, tricks to quickly make materials from the mental ray library that we've got set up here. So if I go to pick a material of object, I'll get that uh, shower head and I'll get a, uh, a bathtub and the uh, concrete wall. So what we have here is uh, some default materials. These are actually the Autodesk generic materials. What you can do if you want to keep the texture maps but turn them into V-Ray materials, you can grab that texture map, take it out and drop it in one of the slots, instance it, and now you have a texture that you could use for uh, Max. I'm going to go one step further here and just take this other texture just so it's not controlled by um, this bitmap parameter that we have inside of uh, the Autodesk material. So here's my material. It's still linking to the same path. That's the one that I'm using for my wall here. And I want to make a V-Ray material. So very quickly, I'm just going to go to my default material slot here. Click on standard. Go to materials and I'm just gonna grab a simple V-Ray material. There are numerous other ones here that are really powerful for different types of workflows. I'm gonna keep it simple for this tutorial. V-Ray material, and for the diffuse material, I'm just gonna grab that slot and drop it in here. And now we have a V-Ray material with that particular texture map. There's a number of other settings here that you can play around with for the uh, glossiness and subdivisions and refraction and reflection. If we want to give it a bit of reflection, if I just bring this up here, you can uh, click on this button here just to show a reflective checkerboard in the background. We can crank up the reflection and all of a sudden we're getting uh, reflections more like a mirror. We can turn down maybe the glossiness to 0.65 and you can see it's giving you uh, less of a mirror effect, giving you more of a a soft concrete reflection, maybe I put it at 0.35, that might be 0.5, that might be a little bit better in terms of uh, a real life sort of setting. So there's, there's numerous things you can um, play around with here depending on uh, how far you want to go with your materials and you can get uh, instant feedback on how these items are going to uh, work. Uh, you can go even further if you want to start doing things like fall offs and you can add like a little um, couple of nodes and bits and pieces here to have it fall off in a certain way. But I, I won't get into that. Um, there are a number of tools, to sh uh, a number of tutorials to show you how to do that. Um, again, this is just a simple tutorial. So that's my uh, material. And if I want to um, add it to all of those components in the model here, if I hit F4 just to show what I'm highlighting, I don't need to go and individually do that. Uh, what I can do is I can right click on the original bathroom material that I had from my river model, go select by material. It's gonna go into all the parts that have come through from Revit. The great thing is that um, this information will come through and it'll be like on a layer, so you can actually turn those off and freeze them and do other things. We'll just uh, select it, they're all selected, right click on that material, and then just assign to selection. Now at the moment it's not showing up, uh, we just need to turn on this little show shader material and viewport and now that material is, uh, is there. Another thing you'll notice is that, uh, if I just do that one back there, 
that one is texture mapped differently, this one isn't, so you will need to do what's called a UVW texture map, or you could adjust it here within the tiling. So if I did um, maybe three by by three, again it's not tiling that well, well so we can just go ten by ten, so it tells a bit better. And sometimes this can be a bit hit and miss. There we go. So it's point one. So the scaling is a little different. So you can uh, adjust that that tiling there, or you could go to UVW map and manually manually do that. So uh, with that, um, just to repeat the, the tools, is you go to a blank slot, grab that material, and you can see it's a mental ray one. I'm gonna take that map out. And you can see here, there's still another uh, hierarchy there, so I'll just take that one out. And I'm gonna use that as my texture map, create a new V-ray material, so I got it from here. And then I'm just going to drag and drop that material onto that new V-ray material. Maybe give it some glossiness. I usually put in 0.65. It tends to be my magic number for just giving me a nice bit of uh, glossy reflections. Uh, make sure you turn the reflection up. Um, so you can put it on 255 to get it looking really reflective. Or you could uh, give it a number of maybe 100 so the reflections aren't as strong, but it will just bounce a bit of light around that space. Uh, you can go further, there are bump maps and all these other options here, I just won't get too much into that today, just because I want to keep this simple. And uh, now with that wall selected, I can just drop that in, and you can see the tiling needs some adjustment, so when I go to that particular material, I think it was 0.1 by 0.1, See the tiles a little bit differently, so maybe in the inverse direction. And you can see that tiling is not actually liking me. So if you do get this with some textures, uh, what I'd recommend is you go to UVW map, and then the UVW map, go to box, and then you have more control over that texture. So if I try and texture it one by one by one, it's not liking me, but let's just see if we can get some better results here. Oh, and uh, we need to just turn that on, there we go. <laughs> so uh, let me just turn that off, go back to my tiling here. That's why we were getting the, the real-time feedback, so 0.1 by 0.1. There we go, so now we're getting the real-time feedback of that material on the wall. And the last thing you can do here if you want to do it by UVW map, so this is probably the power of using a UVW map, actually you probably just do it here actually you can uh, rotate it here, but you can also do this with the UVW map. Okay, so that's a quick uh, intro to starting to add some of your materials with the V-Ray material engine uh, inside of 3ds Max with a Revit model.